One News Sport is brought to you by Mobile, proudly celebrating 125 years of serving Aotearoa. Get more with Mobile. Kia we welcome to One Sport. The Black Caps are questioning the ICC's refusal to approve an injury. It's Halloween on Sunday, a chance for the kids to dress up and scare each other. But there's something else that's scaring young people too, and that's the environment. So as the United Nations Climate Change Conference gears up, we're asking how the adults can reassure young people that there is hope. Maureen, a lot of the messages about climate change are overwhelming. How do we harness hope? I think we harness hope by giving realistic hope. If we're to, a, to work with children and youth... They, they need authenticity from us. So that hope has to be realistic. We can harness it by allowing them to think... There is something we can do... To coordinate together, to collaborate, to move forward. At the moment, globally, there's enough wealth and education and a little bit of global coordination going on thanks to COVID uh, that means we can address this issue. And there are quite a few people looking at it and working out what to do. Is there a generational divide over climate change? I mean, how much anger is there among young people over what older generations have done to the planet? Well, we have had that wonderful uh, examples of Greta, haven't we, <laughs> looking at uh, Donald Trump. I think, yes, there's anger. Yes, there are differences in generations. Perhaps someone as old as me can say, well, we haven't been uh, that good at addressing this and being active in it, so we need to acknowledge this with youth if they're angry, but not be defensive. The one thing I would really uh, think is very important is we do not do the us-them situation with that. It's only causing division and we're all facing this crisis. Thank you so much, Maureen. Lovely to talk to you tonight. Very nice to talk with you. Thank you. There we go. Some food for thought there. Well, we haven't been uh, that good at addressing this and being active in it, so we need to acknowledge this with youth if they're angry, but not be defensive. The one thing I would really uh, think is very important is we do not do the us-them situation with that. It's only causing division. Brought to you by Mobile.